What's up everybody, Damon here and in today's gaming news, Nintendo unveils an official Switch accessory very late into its life, the next Helldivers 2 Warbond appears to have been leaked by PlayStation, and Splitgate is getting a sequel. This is your Daily Fix. Nintendo has announced an official Joy-Con charging stand for the Switch, which arrives seven and a half years after the console launched. The charging stand lets you charge two Joy-Cons at the same time without the need to attach them to the Switch itself. Now obviously, third-party Joy-Con charging docks have been available for years, like the $30 officially licensed Switch charging stand from Hori, which has great reviews, but this is the first one to be produced by Nintendo. While it does seem strange to release this accessory this long into the Switch's life, maybe that means it will be forwards compatible with the Switch 2, which is expected next year. We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, this new charging stand will be available October 17th. No price has been announced yet, but it's also compatible with the Switch's Nintendo Entertainment System controllers, which I imagine will be getting some use with the launch of Nintendo World Championships NES Edition out today. Moving on, the next Helldivers 2 Warbond may have leaked from an unlikely source. PlayStation itself. Arrowhead's explosive PS5 and PC co-op shooter receives new war bonds, essentially battle passes, regularly, and each adds new weapons, armor, and gear under a theme. Players reported receiving a PlayStation notification for the current war bond, called Viper Commandos, but the text relates to an unreleased war bond called Freedom's Flame. According to this text, Freedom's Flame includes fiery weapons, life-saving armor, cool capes, fresh emotes, player cards, and patterns. The hope is that Freedom's Flame adds fire-resistant armor, which should help on planets such as Hellmire, which feature fire tornadoes as an environmental hazard. The perhaps unrealistic hope is the Warbond also adds a flamethrower turret or flamethrower drone. Arrowhead is yet to indicate when the next Warbond will launch, but it has slowed down the pace of new content drops in order to ensure it gets them right, so there may be a bit of a wait. Helldivers 2 is the fastest selling PlayStation game of all time, having shifted an incredible 12 million copies in just 12 weeks, and as of earlier this month, it's still the best selling game of the year. And finally today, Splitgate 2 has been announced for a 2025 release on console and PC. The original Splitgate was released in 2021 and is a free-to-play, first-person shooter described as Halo with portals. It was well-received and peaked at around 2 million daily active users. This allowed the development team to raise 100 million from investors to start work on a sequel. Starting today, fans can download a Splitgate 2 companion app, which includes a free digital comic series developing the lore of the universe, quizzes, collectible digital cards, and other activities. And 1047 is planning for a community playtest later this year, sometime around Gamescom in August. Splitgate 2 is still fundamentally Splitgate. It's still a free-to-play first-person shooter with only cosmetic microtransactions and 4v4 battles. Players mess around with portals and physics to fling themselves or their enemies around at wild angles and speeds. The biggest difference from the sequel and its predecessor is the introduction of three different factions, each tailored to a different gameplay style or strategy. Apart from the addition of factions, the most noticeable difference between Splitgate 1 and 2 might be the map design. In the original, the CEO and co-founder of 1047 ended up as the map designer somewhat by default, but for Splitgate 2, he hired professionals. Splitgate 2 should launch sometime next year. And that is your daily fix for Thursday, July 18th. Now that you're caught up on the news, watch the launch trailer for the Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. I'm Damon Hatfield, and for all your video game news, stay tuned to IGN.